Hi guys, welcome to this week's vlog. This is the last vlog in the Wales series and we're on our way out of uh, Wales now. We just thought we'd call off at Penmon Lighthouse and not to miss an opportunity, even though it's absolutely chucking it down. We thought we'd come and uh, try and get a few photographs of the lighthouse. Now, it's a very dull sort of overcast day. There's not much colour in the scene, so I'm thinking uh, monochrome, long exposure and uh, we're going to try the tent stock and see what we can come up with. Uh, we've got our umbrellas and our cloths to keep the lenses clean. So uh, we're going to uh, just see what we can come up with and make the most of it. Let's go. Okay, so as you can see, I've got the camera set up now. We're just going to take a sort of base, um, sort of test exposure without any filters on or anything. So uh, at the moment I'm shooting it's uh, F11, 1 200th of a second and ISO 100. Uh, it's producing quite a nice image. I'm focusing on the lighthouse and I'm zoomed in at about 24 millimeter. So I'm not at the full uh, width of the um, lens, but um, we're just sort of going to take a test shot and see how that turns out. I'm just using the, um, the sea, the breaking waves, as a bit of a leading line into the image as it curves around there. And that sort of leads you nicely up to the lighthouse. Okay, so I'm quite pleased with that first image there, it's a really nice exposure. I'm now going to um, put on the 10 stop filter to try and smooth out the water and the clouds behind and give that sort of ethereal look. I'm going to um, obviously pre-focus on the lighthouse and the important thing with the filters when using them is to make sure that you um, set your focus point and then put your lens into manual focus so that once you put your filter on your uh, camera doesn't try and um, so I hunt for another focus point, which it will do if it's in autofocus because it won't be able to see through the uh, filter. So I'm just going to uh, retake that shot and make sure the focus is exactly where I want to be. Two second timer. There we go. I'm just going to retake that shot actually, uh, it's obviously got a little bit darker so uh, it's a little bit underexposed. So yeah that looks a lot better. So I'm going to put the filter on now and then um, we'll see how long we can get on the uh, shutter speed. Okay so the filter's on now and my lens is in manual focus. So I'm just going to take a look at that and see what kind of exposure we can get. Now the camera's saying about two seconds, um, you can get apps for this to work out what kind of exposure you can use. I'm just going to do a little bit of trial and error and just see what kind of exposure works well. So well, this one's at about two seconds now, again F11, ISO 100. So I'm going to um, give that a shot and see how it turns out. Again, two second timer just to allow the camera to uh, stop shaking. No, it's really dark on that one, so I'm going to, uh, again, retake that image. Okay, so now I'm going to try 20 seconds now to see if I can get the effect that I want there. It's really quite dark and the light's changing quite a lot, so I'm going to try that out now and uh, just see how it turns out. Like I said, you can get apps and things that will uh, help you uh, calculate, basically, the shutter speed. Depending on what kind of filter you can use, uh, the Photo Pills app is quite a good one to use that. However, you need to make sure you bring it down to the beach with you because I've left my phone in the car, so uh, that's no good, unfortunately. Yeah, 20 seconds is looking really good there. It's uh, nicely, uh, nicely placed histogram. It's in the middle there, and there's plenty of room uh, for the uh, highlights and shadows, so uh, it's looking pretty good. So I might just take a few more of them as the waves keep crashing in and see what kind of effects we can come up with.
Okay, so we've come to the end of the pier now, and I'm presuming this normally is underwater because it's covered in uh, sort of seaweed and things. And uh, in this shot, I've got the lighthouse isolated on its own, um, basically just to see around it. And again, I'm going to be shooting at sort of 20, 25 second exposures just to try and get the uh, sort of water really smoothed out, looking like glass around it. And I think it'll look really good this shot. This is kind of the one that I've seen quite a few times with just the lighthouse isolated on its own, and it's one that I've wanted to get for a while. So. Uh, Basically, I'm going to give that a go now, shooting at f11 again, and um, between sort of 20 and 25 seconds with the 10 stop uh, ND filter on there, ISO 100, and I'll put the uh, shot on there on the screen for you once I've uh, taken it. So one of the reasons I like um, wanted to, it's one of the reasons why I wanted to get this image is because having the um, lighthouse on its own isolated in the environment with the uh, sort of waves and the sea and the clouds and the sky all sort of smoothed out around it just sort of encapsulate the kind of um, environment that this thing sits in. Everything else is sort of moving around it and this thing's really solid and uh, rigid in its place and it's um, I think the image really captures the sort of essence of the scene and. Uh, what this uh, sort of lighthouse has to put up with in terms of uh, the environment. So I'd just like to thank my beautiful assistant, my other half. She's uh, come down to the uh, beach in these terrible conditions to basically hold the umbrella to keep you guys dry while I'm uh, doing, the, doing the photography. So uh, got a lot to thank her for, so thanks. Okay, so I'd just like to say thanks for watching this episode. I really hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you've enjoyed all the images from the Wales series over the last sort of four weeks. And um, basically, if you, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel and uh, share the video, comment down below, and give it a thumbs up. So until the next time, bye for now.